Hey guys, this is your boy, Mr. Ocelot, with another YouTube product review. Today we got a side-by-side -side comparison of the Nixon Mission smartwatch and the Huawei watch. So, uh, some key differences here. Number one, the screen. Uh, the Nixon's got a 48mm diameter screen. Um, it looks good and, you know, it's nice to interact with. But it's also, because of the larger size, heavier, and it really gets in the way. You know, my wrist was actually hitting it when I was doing push-ups and just moving my wrist around, driving, and it just felt a little bit too big on my wrist. And I'm a big guy, too. The Huawei Watch, 42 millimeter diameter. Uh, it's lighter. I feel like the size is just perfect. So i got to give the edge to the Huawei Watch on that, that one. Um, number two. The uh, auto brightness feature, uh, that's a really key thing, I think, in a smartwatch because, you know, most of the time the screen's going to be in kind of like this power saving mode. And, um, you know, the Huawei, watch, the Huawei watch is fine in the daytime, but at nighttime, because there's no auto brightness feature, it's just too bright. Um, whereas the Nixon watch, Somehow it has a sensor that detects what the ambient light is like and adjusts the, the screen brightness for that environment. So uh, edge to the Nixon on that one. Watch faces. You know, the Nixon comes with some exclusive watch faces. Um, there's this one and there's another that shows a surf forecast in your local area. I really like the Nixon exclusive uh, watch faces. Whereas the Huawei watches, there was a lot more choice, but none of them really suited my taste. So um, as far as watch faces, I think the Nixon smartwatch gets the edge on that one. Nicer uh, stock exclusive watch faces. Uh, this one's got the weather forecast, battery remaining, and date. Um, I did, however, find uh, an aftermarket watch face for the Huawei watch. This one's called the Essentials Forecast. Uh, it's got a weather forecast, not just the current conditions, as well as the date and the uh, uh, no battery status. But it does have a second hand, so that's pretty nice. Um, number four, watch strap. Got to give the edge to the Huawei watch on this one. Got this beautiful black stainless steel watch strap. Uh, I got a watch link removal kit on Amazon for $5 and just knocked out four links, and it's perfect now. So, nice, beautiful metal watch strap. Feels very expensive. In fact, I saw a very similar strap for the Apple Watch today in the Apple Store going for 120 bucks, And this one's the free one. So, definitely got the edge on that one. You know, the Nixon smartwatch... Um, the missions uh, watch strap. It's a nice rubber material kind of G-Shock style watch strap. Does great in the ocean and you know running and swimming and those things. But I don't know. I just it doesn't feel premium. So edge the Wabi watch. Number five. Um, uh, waterproofness. So the Nixon gets the edge. It is waterproof to 100 meters. The thing is, you got to move the microphone um, using this latching mechanism over here. You gotta like kind of go through this process to close the microphone. I don't know. I guess I would do it if I was going surfing with this thing, but uh, I don't go surfing or swimming or showering with my watch enough that I would do that every time I went in the water. It kind of is a pain in the butt. Uh, with the mic open, these watches are identical in terms of waterproofness. You know, you can be in the rain, you can wash your hands, you just can't shower or submerge them. So, um, you know, slight edge to the Nixon on that one, but I just don't think it's a useful feature. Um, number six, the Nixon has GPS. Uh, the Huawei doesn't. But you know what? When I'm out and about outside of my house and, and moving around, whether it be on a run or driving or whatever, I've got a GPS with me. i got my phone. So uh, I didn't really think that's a useful feature. Number seven, 
uh, notifications. The Huawei has a much stronger vibrator inside of it, which is you cannot miss a notification when you're using this thing. It shakes the hell out of you, and it actually makes a sound, uh, which is good because I want to know when I'm getting a call or a text or an email. Um, also, the button placement. You know, the Huawei's got the button at 2 o'clock. The Nixon's got it at 3 o'clock. 2 o'clock falls much easier to the hand. So, edge to the Huawei. Um, speaker, you know, the Nixon doesn't have a speaker. The Huawei does, but I use it today and it sounds terrible. In a pinch, I guess, it's okay if we're making a phone call. If you're within Bluetooth range or Wi-Fi range of your phone. But, um, nah. I didn't really think the speaker was useful. Uh, price, big edge to the Huawei. So the Nixon's 400 bucks. That's a lot for a watch that's too big and has this cheap looking strap. The Huawei is 330 bucks, so not cheap, but it is $70 cheaper. And I think it already had the edge on features for me. So no brainer. I think the Huawei is a better value at $330 on Amazon. A uh, couple final thoughts on Android Wear. You know, smartwatches like these, Android Wear watches and the Apple Watch, they're not cheap, right? Like, you're paying to play. Um, if you're focused on value, uh, I would either not get a watch because you got a phone with you, or I would go for a cheaper analog watch. Um, but if you want to watch and to be notified of all of these things going on with your phone and have some level of interaction, whether it be speech input or um, um, just in a pinch, leaving the phone on your desk maybe, and then you don't have to carry it around with you and be chained to it 24-7, it's great for that. So um, I like having the smartwatch. I wasn't sure if I would like it or not. I, I thought when I ordered them, I would definitely return them if I didn't like it, but I do like it. So, uh, Android, or just smartwatches in general, pretty cool toy. Um, nice watch, watch alternative. Um, I guess there are watches out there like the Samsung, uh, the new Samsung one. Uh, is it the S3 gear, I think? That uh, you can get LTE. Uh, as well as a GPS receiver inside of them, then maybe you're actually, you know, dishing the phone at home and, and going to the store without it or going for a run without it. Um, but probably not, because another reason you might want to hold off on getting one of these Android Wear smartwatches is Android Wear 2.0 is supposed to be coming out pretty soon next year in 2017. Um, these watches are not as smart as a smartphone or tablet, okay? Um, you need a phone or tablet in order to use these things. Um, maybe Android Wear 2.0 will address that and, and make this more of an alternative to a phone. But, um, yeah, probably not. <laughs> if you want to watch, just go ahead and buy one of these. Uh, you won't be sorry. My recommendation is the Huawei, but um, both wonderful watches. Alright, thanks for watching this video and please subscribe if you like that review.